Today I will be talking about a subject that I did not think I would talk about again on this channel because I just could not get it down, but here I am to talk about meal planning. I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. So, I said at the beginning of this video that I did not think I was going to talk about meal planning again, and that is because I have been horrible at it. You guys, I will start doing a really good job with the meal planning, and then I'll just completely fall off. And it has been that way for a long time. And let me share with you why. Our schedules are super busy especially this time of year. So my husband is the head football coach at the high school here. So he is gone a lot of the time. Like I'm filming this on a Saturday and it's roughly like three o'clock and he has not been home today since like seven this morning because he's trying to prepare for next Friday's game. My daughter does competitive cheer. She is fixing to start basketball. My son does soccer and Taekwondo. So we are busy every day of the week. So trying to fit meals into our daily schedule is so difficult because a lot of times by the time we get home, I'm like, it's like 6.30 and in my mind, 6.30 to grab out all the pots and pans and get this going. It's just not, it's just not going to work for our family. So I had to come up with a system that was going to work for us. My goal for this school year was to start meal planning, to do better about scheduling meals. And here's the thing, it doesn't have to be complex meals. And that was the issue that I was having. I thought, well, Lord, I've got to have this extravagant meal where, you know, it's got to have a meat and we've got to have three vegetables and a bread. And I'm like, I just can't do all of that. I just, I can't do it and stay sane. I can't. So once I realized it was okay to serve chicken nuggets at night sometime, it was okay to serve pizza some nights, then I changed my whole perspective. So now I sit down every week and I plan our meals for the next week. Been doing this system since July. I feel like it's benefiting me, so I feel like it, I'm comfortable enough to talk about it on camera. So I have got several printables to share with you that are available in my Etsy shop that have been truly beneficial to me. I'm not trying to like push products. If you don't want to purchase those, just I hope that it gives you an idea of how to do this for your family. So I'm going to share the process that I go through and then we're actually going to put together my recipe binder together. So for my meal planning, it's a little bit complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video in several different directions and share several different things as quickly as I can. So this video is not long. So the first two things I am going to share with you are printables. And these are printables that are available in my Etsy shop. I'm not saying to run out and purchase them. You can definitely create something like this for your, by yourself, but I have made these available for you if you want to use the ones I have or if you don't want to take the time to make them yourself. So this is my weekly meal planner. And I will tell you that I went back and forth, back and forth with this meal planner trying to figure out what day of the week to start it on. Because for me, I'm going to zoom in and show you every little section because for me, my meal planning technically does not start on a Monday. So I'm like, do I go back and start it on the day that I start from? But I've made this one printable work for me. 
So I'm just gonna share with you what it looks like. So you've got the days of the week on the left side, then you've got your shopping list on the right side. And then at the top, I did for the week of, in case you wanted to fill that information out. And then at the bottom, we have a note section in case there are any notes that you need to take down. So for me, I will tell you that my meal planning usually starts on Friday because Thursdays I will finalize my Walmart grocery pickup, submit that order, and then I will pick it up Friday. So Friday evenings for meals, if I'm doing some sort of meals, those will start, my meal planning week will start on Friday. So I just know that mine's gonna go Friday to Thursday. That's just how mine works. So when I go through here, I just list the things I want to eat on the left-hand side. So let's say, Friday, we had pizza. Saturday, let's say we had shrimp scampi. Sunday, which I'm filming this on Sunday, we are actually having a crock pot chicken meal. And then we go back up to Monday monday chicken nuggets you guys sometimes we just throw some chicken nuggets in the the oven and call it a day so tuesday and wednesdays are the days that normally i don't cook anything because kate and derek are both busy these two days so by the time we get home sometimes it's eight o'clock i don't have time to meal plan and then thursdays are always a question mark so what I will do is I will go through here and say, okay, chicken nuggets, what do I need for that meal? So I'm using the dual tip marker today from Erin Condren. So I have a smaller um, pan on the other side. So you're, I'm gonna put chicken nuggets. And you guys, we use the Tyson gluten-free chicken nuggets. My kids love them and then fries. So I'll go, I'll go through here and make this shopping list. And then once I finish, I will add all these to my grocery pickup. So for pizza, we do the call a, call a power, call a power crust. They are amazing. You get two crusts in one package. They are great. So if you need a gluten-free pizza crust, highly recommend that one. Then we have our pizza sauce. And then I'm gonna put just cheese because I know what that is. So that's how we do this. So I will do this and then I will check it off once I add it to my Walmart grocery pickup. So that is how I do my meal planning every single week. So it is something that I will basically start once I get my groceries on Friday. I will actually start meal planning for that next Friday's pickup. I like to, it has been very successful for me to pull out a sheet and actually mark things down. I mean, my refrigerator has food in it right now. We've got meals to eat every single day. So it is very, has been very beneficial for me. So this is available. And then also here's the, here's something that I created as well. This is also available in my Etsy shop. I have trouble deciding what for dinner every single night. So I have made this principle to go through and anytime we have a new meal that we like, I am going to write it down. So I will know, hey, okay, Kate, there, we've got these things that we've had recently. Do any of these pique your interest for us to cook? So I'm actually gonna put chicken nuggets on here because we have that quite often. So anytime we have something new that we all like, we will write it down on this list. So this may seem like something simple, but you guys, when you have a busy week and you need to do some meal planning and you can't think of what to cook, you have your list here, you pull it out and you base your meal plan off of those. So I just wanted to mention that as well. So that is how I am doing the meal planning and submitting my groceries every single week. So next we're gonna talk about my recipe binder. So it is something that I completely cleaned out and I'm wanting to put back together based on the meals, the desserts, and all of that that we have been eating 
recently. I had recipes in there from probably eight years ago. We've never cooked them again. So I've cleaned it out and I want a fresh start on my recipe binder. So for that, I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna pull all the recipes out that I have, share all those with you, and then we're gonna organize it out together. Okay, so I went ahead and I got all of my dividers labeled, and I'll be honest, I'm using several different, I guess you would say, um, products here. They're not all from the same. Now, the first group of them are, and I want to say they're all the Avery brand. I'm thinking. Usually what I do, if I am done with a project, I will take whatever I was using for that project, binder for instance, and I will save it to use later. So that's what I've done here. So I've got all the dividers and I made sure to get the one, use the ones with the pockets just in case I am not ready to put the recipes behind each category. I at least have them in the correct spot. So I have appetizers, there we go. So I have appetizers, vegetables, main dishes, breads, desserts, and then the last one, two are different. So I've got beverages and miscellaneous. So right now, those are the dividers that I'm using. Now this is my recipe binder here. This is a Better Binder from Staples. I absolutely love the Better Binders from Staples. I have the side labeled with recipes. So, oh, and I've got a few in here that I need to add to it. So we're gonna put my dividers in here. And at the very beginning, I'm going to put this right here. So this is a mesh binder pouch. You can even get these from um, Dollar Tree. I get this one from Target. They were, it was on clearance during um, the back to school clearance event, I guess you would call it. So I picked up several. I have one in my Christmas binder. If you've not seen my Christmas binder, I will link that in a card above. And I've got this one and then I have one more that I just got an extra just in case I needed one on down the road. So now all of my dividers are in here and we're ready to put everything behind each tab. Okay, you guys, so now I have all of my recipes put in my recipe binder. And this is on my Etsy shop as well. You've got the recipe cover here. And then, oh, that's the what's for dinner. And then over here is the recipe card. So I actually made a recipe card. It is half of a page, so you can cut it in two or you can leave it whole. And this is also available on my Etsy shop. You've got recipe name, then you've got servings temp, cook time, the ingredients on the left, the directions on the right, and it says from the kitchen of at the bottom. So this matches all of the other recipe principles. So you've got this one, you've got the weekly meal planner, you've got the what's for dinner, and the recipe cover. So all four of these are available in my Etsy shop and I will link that below. So recipe binder is done and probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this in the very front um, pocket here. So it's right there whenever we need it. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna use this little pouch here. I don't know if I'll use it for coupons or exactly, but I do want to have it in here just in case I do need a pouch for something. So you've got the appetizers. What is wrong with my ISO? There you go. Okay, so we've got appetizers and everything is in sheet protectors and I can't tell you the exact brand because y'all, I've purchased sheet protectors for years and I just have an overflow underneath my crafting or planner station here and I just pull whenever I need them. So vegetables, I don't have anything in there yet. So this is the main dishes, breads. So everything has a sheet protector. It makes it easy to pull them out and put them back in or it keeps the food from getting on your actual recipe. Breads, I don't have anything there yet. We've got desserts nothing for beverages, and then miscellaneous. The only thing I have for miscellaneous is my DIY Italian salad dressing. And I actually just made onion soup, a DIY onion soup, because I can't use the Lipton's, because I think it says they use 
barley or malt one of those and that does contain gluten so i'm going to print that out and put that at the back here so you guys my recipe binder is now put together and it feels amazing so to go over that one more time how i meal plan is i will sit down Friday through Thursday and I will fill out what my meals will be from that Friday to that next Thursday. I will add all of my shopping list items on the right hand side. I will upload all of this to the Walmart grocery pickup app and you guys that app is free and it has been it is like a life changer. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite things. It is a life changing um favorite of mine because now I don't have to drag my kids through the store and it's free. All I have to do is add everything to the cart, pay for it, tell them what time I'm going to be there and they have it ready for me. They even load my vehicle. So that will get loaded into the Walmart pickup app. I'll pick my groceries up on Fridays, cook and start making my meal plan for that next Friday's pickup. And then I have my what's for dinner printable that I will write all of the different meals that we have made and that we know we like for those times that my brain just decides it cannot think of any meals to cook. So you guys, that is how I plan my meals every week and how I am keeping up with all of the recipes. And you guys, that has been my meal planning process since July. And I feel like it's a simple one. It's working for me and I've actually been following through. That's the biggest thing. I'm following through. I'm getting the groceries. My refrigerator is full. So we're good to go. So in the comments below, I want you guys to share with me what meal planning system you have, or do you even have a meal planning system? Let's talk about meal planning in the comments below. Share anything you want to about meal planning. If you have a question, share it in the comments below. So you guys, I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.